Um, I am Afroza Khan and I work uh, at Sydney International School uh, as a vice principal. I, uh, today I'm here to discuss about the phonics. So I had all my training and my teaching qualification from UK universities. And I worked in UK more than 25 years. Uh, today I am going to focus phonics in a in a big um, uh, in a big in a big way because uh, I feel in Bangladesh there is very limited school focusing phonics uh, teaching phonics to young children. Phonics is a very important part, so we need to you know cover phonics with uh, our education, especially with the young children. And this is very important. So phonics is a very important part of reading. Phonics helps young children uh, to learn letter sound relationship because English uses letters in the alphabet to represent sound. Phonics teaches this information to help children learn how to read, write, and communicate. Phonics allow children to uh, decode letters into their respective sounds. I feel that is essential for them to read unfamiliar words by themselves. Sydney International School focuses phonics from nursery to year two students so that our children learn the specific phonological knowledge, um, have awareness skills necessary for learning to read, write, spelling words, and communicate effectively. Our students learn phonics through interactive activities, various games, worksheets, flashcards, stories and props, um, rhymes and songs, imaginative play and using real objects and materials and books. Our aim is um, ultimate for our students to become confident with the English language, develop strong social skills, listening and communicating skills, and of course, become a fluent reader and develop writing skills. Sydney International School focuses phonics program systematically. As we know that systematically um, phonics uh, instruction is better than any other approach when it comes to learning to read. Phonics is best taught systematically starting with the easiest element and working up to more challenging ones. Phonics learn best when it is interactive. You have the audience and you have the input from the students um, and uh, you can play games with them. But today we're going to have a go and give you some ideas what you can do with your children at home and how you can help them to learn phonics and become a fluent reader. Learning to read is exciting, but it can also be challenging. There's a lot of trial and error. And sometimes you will see your uh, child struggle. This is completely normal. This is completely uh, acceptable. Um, with the right instruction and lots of practice uh, and the encouragement, your child will master the skills they need. Without a lot of effort, even the really hard ones, your children will be able to uh, learn how to read fluently 
and write and speak. I hope um, this will help uh, training information. The, I hope this training will help a little bit to you and your students uh, to deal with the phonics and help your children how to uh, learn all the letter sounds. So now I'm going to screen share and I'm going to say all the letter sounds. And uh, when I say the letter sounds, articulation is very important because each letter forms different sounds and um, they always use the different part of our mouth when we form, uh, when we say the sounds. So please uh, listen carefully. I will screen share the alphabet and I will say the sound. Okay, so a uh, apple, b boy, k cat, d dog, a e elephant, fish, g girl, horse, e igloo, j jelly, k kangaroo, u lion, m monkey. Mm, nars, o, orange, p, penguin, w, queen, r, rabbit, sun, t, tiger, a, umbrella, m, violin, w, watch, x, in a box, yeah, yo yo. Zebra. Young children should learn the letter sound first and later they will develop the letter name and then they will learn the letter name uh, maybe from kindergarten and KG1, KG2 we start um, teaching them letter name. I will screen share with Another worksheet. Which is the mixed letters. We have all the letters here, which is um, capital letter and small letters. And so when we ask the children, this is, this is usually we use just to recognize the letters. Recognizing letters is very important. They need to recognize which one is a small letter and which one is capital letter. And that's why we mix them. So then kids will be uh, reading it like I am doing it now. And I can guarantee you, end of the, you know, our phonics sessions, yes, all kids can do this. It is quite challenging, but they are quite confident and they can do it easily. So is the B. F, K, M, J, H, M, D, M, S, O, K, M, N, D, X, E, R, J, L, P, Q, A, U, A, V, E, G, T, Y, A, O, W, P, Q, Z, K, C, A, W, I, S, Z, R, U. G, Y, P, T, H, X. And our kids are very good at it. You know, once um, they, they know all their letter sounds 
and they recognize all the alphabets, capital and lower cases, and they easily can recognize this. So I'm sure you will be able to do that. And also, when we um, teach the children all the letter recognition and everything, they also recognize the vocabulary as well with the letter recognition. So here is the vocabulary and uh, they have to say the name and the first sound. So for example, they need to say spider, book, b, cow, k, duck, d, and then egg, e, fan, gate, g, house, h, ink, i, jam, j, king, k, lemon, u, mm, mm, monkey, mm, mm, nose, um, o, orange, Hidda, pa, queen, qua, ring, er, snake, table, t, umbrella, a, uh, van, v, whale, w, yellow, y, yeah. zebra, z. So these are the, um, these are the vocabulary and the first identification of the letter they need to recognize. So after this, then we teach the children how to uh, recognize the past sound in pictures and words. And I will share another worksheet with you with that. So here we go. This is another worksheet. Okay, so is they need to identify the first sound in this picture and then they can make the word. So for example, first one is mat. So what letter is missing? The, what letter is missing children? Mmm, mmm is missing. So they need to write mmm, mmm. A t mat. Then this is a V. So B, what letter is missing for B? So they need to say B. And they need to write B. And then they need to say B. E. B. So there's two A together form one sound. This is long uh, vowel, um, vowel sound, long vowel sound. And then leap. So for leap, uh, what letter is missing? So they need to say, okay, miss, I know, it's U. So when they say U, then I would say, okay, write, the, write U. And what else? So I will challenge. So I will keep go with, with one by one. So when they complete all these letter sound identification, first sound, and then we move into, we move into some games. Okay, we move into some games like, for example, um, like this. So I would say, okay, what picture can you see? They will say, horse. Okay, children, tell me, what does it horse start with? So they have to say the letter sound, horse. So I play the game in the classroom with the kids, and if they can say it, then they get the card and they have a competition and uh, in the classroom how many cards they can get so it's like you know kids really try their very best to have most of the cards and get some little star or stickers or stamps we encourage the children to do that so i have all these cards one by one i go through and i play to with the children so that they recognize the past sound of the picture or of the word so like zebra what does it zebra start with 
so they need to say zebra so if the children say wrong you know answer don't worry about that just try to emphasize on the first sound you wanted to teach to that particular child and they will get it eventually so that's how we progress and we teach the children to you know um, how to achieve step by step and that's why we teach phonics systematically so that's one part and we have a lot more game my colleague will show you in a minute but before that we have we also like introduce all the 26 letters we do all the letter sounds and then we do um we uh, introduce them vowel consonants so in the 26 uh, letters we have 21 consonants and five vowels so children are introduced in this point what are the vowels so i will share with you okay so this is the vowel worksheet the kids will learn these are some of the example i'm giving you but we have a lot more resources in school okay so these are the vowels so the sounds a e e o a so a e e o a so these are the sound vowel sound <clears throat> vowel is very important and without the vowel children won't be able to make any words nobody can make any word so vowels is very important part of learning so like for example in cat so what vowel are you going to use that's what i will be asking the children in the classroom so i would say okay come on tell me in cat which vowel sound are you going to use so i will emphasize on the sound then they will hear better if they are really beginner uh, student so for example k a t they need to be able to hear a and then they will form the letter a and then they will say the uh, sound all together like k a t cat so that's how i will be teaching the vowels to the children and um, I, I have a lot more resources, as I said, and I have a lot more cards as well around these vowel sounds. So like, for example, cat. What vowel can you hear in cat? So k, a, t, cat. And they, they should be able to say is a, okay? And same with the mag. What vowel can you hear? They should be able to say a map so i would use these cards and play games with them in the classroom and even when we are teaching online with our class with the children we do the same most of our teachers are trained and they know how to use the resources in uh, on our teams platform we use to teach the children so that's how our children are developing how to read and write and speak and they are doing a fantastic job and we are really proud of them. So now I would request my colleague to play a small game with you. So, okay. Uh, thank you, Ms. Khan. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen and dear kids. My name is Abhilasha and I'm an English teacher at Sydney International School. So, boys and girls, you just were introduced to phonics, the world of phonics. And now you know why phonics is so important. It makes you good readers, isn't it? And you get more fluency with the English language, whether it is your a mother tongue or not it is very important to get fluency at a language and phonics teaches you exactly that and our school at sydney international our focus is exactly towards that that's why we have introduced this program of phonics to make good readers people good at speaking english better so while we are learning phonics 
why don't we play a game along with it, isn't it? And make it more fun and interesting. So let me introduce one very interesting game which I love to play with my kids and they simply love it and enjoy it. The name of the game is I Spy With My Little Eye. You must be wondering what is this game all about. In this game, I'm going to create the first sound of the letter. You have to recognize the first sound and you have to run around your house and look for an object which starts with that first letter sound. So boys and girls and even the adults, come on, you can also join us in playing this game with your kids, okay? So listen carefully to the sound which I'm going to make now, okay? So here we go. Let's play along. I spy with my little eye something that starts with the letter sound B. B. Come on, you have five seconds. Run around the house and look for it. One, two, three, four, five. Time's up. Come on, time's up. Yes. So I hope you found something because I did. And see what I found. What is this? Can you tell me? Yes, it's a book. And book starts with B. B, U, K. There's a long U sound in between. And the first sound is B. And what about this? Yes, you're right. It's a bird. And what is the first sound that you hear in bird? B. Okay, I hope it is clear now with everyone. So come on. Now listen carefully to the next sound that I'm going to say. I spy with my little eye something that starts with the letter sound K. K. Come on, your time starts now. One, two, run around. Three, four, five. Stop. Did you get it? I'm sure you must have got one thing which is very common in the house and that is yes it's a cup and cup starts with k k a p cup listen to the first sound k and there is something else also what is this it's a cat mask and cat the starting letter is k k e Cat, yes. I hope that you're enjoying because I'm enjoying as well. Okay, so listen, listen again. Everybody pay attention, pay attention, listen. I spy with my little eye something that starts with the letter sound Okay, your time starts now. One, two, three. Four, five, yes. So there is a very common object which we use every day in our house for eating. And what is, yes, I can hear many of you shouting. That is spoon. Yes, spoon. And spoon starts with sp, u, n, spoon, yes. Come on, let's have more. Okay, so now listen carefully. I spy with my little eye something that starts with... Yes, come on. Look here, there. Don't forget to look up. Yes. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. You guessed it correct. Right up. I can see a fan. And fan starts with A. Mm. Listen to the first sound. Yes, correct. Okay. Now listen to this. I spy with my little eye something that starts with Come on, run around. The time starts now. One, two, three, four, 
five. Yes, come on, everybody, back, back on your seats. So did you get something? When I got many things, look here, what is all this? These are toys, yes. And toy starts with, look, toy, toy, yes. I hope you're not tired running around the house. Come on, now listen to this sound. I spy with my little eye something that starts with the letter sound. Yes, the time starts now. Come on. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, time stops. I hope parents, you're helping your kids. I'm sure. Everybody running around the house and looking for things. Well, one thing which we all have next to normally when we are attending a class or something. And what is that thing? That's it's a big a pen. Yes. <laughs> That's a pen. And pen starts with look, look at eh, mm, pen. Yes. I hope that you're all holding your pen in your hand. I have one. This, this is a nice red pen that I have. Okay, anyways. Now let's hear this sound. Next sound. I spy with my little eye something that starts with the letter sound. <gasps> Come on. Turn around. Yes. One. Two. Three four five yes and i'm sure you all must be having that thing in your home we use it to cover our head when it's really hot outside when you go outside isn't it so i have that thing with me and that is what is this can you tell me what is this it's a hat isn't it yes and hat starts with huh huh eh Hat, yes. So let me figure out what else can I ask you? Okay. I spy with my little eye something that starts with mmm. Mmm. Come on, run around the house. I'll already have that with me. Your time starts now. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Did you find something? Well, I did, and that is a nail. See, look everyone, that's a nail. And it starts with mm, nail. Listen to the first sound, nail, mm, yes. I hope you all have enjoyed our session of phonics. Isn't it interesting and fun at the same time? Isn't it, Ms. Khan? Yeah, phonics is very exciting and yes. we play a lot of games. We, you can see that we use a lot of realistic materials. You don't need to buy anything. Phonics is everywhere you go. So you have to have the skills and the knowledge just to teach the phonics. So yes. thank you so much, everyone, for watching and listening to us. If you need any help, any support, do get in touch with Sydney International School. We are here to help you. And so one more thing. Yes. And one more thing, everyone. Please stay safe. Please wash your hands regularly. Wear a mask when you are going out. Okay. All the boys and girls, please be safe and listen to your parents. Okay. So bye-bye, everyone. Have a great day. Bye, everyone. Have a nice day. Thank you.